at 4.45, our orchestra members gather to practice our concert song until 6 o'clock. Hello, this week's speech is going to be about what takes up most of my time in the winter. What takes up most of my time is school. I don't really like doing school, but I do it because, well, for one, it's mandatory, and two, I'm so blessed to have a good education. School doesn't take up all my time, though. I have gymnastics from 6 to 7.30 on Monday, voice lessons from 7.15 to 7.45 on Tuesday, and on Friday, I have violin lessons from 4 to 4.45. Then at 4.45, our orchestra members gather to practice our concert song from 5 to 6.30. Sounds pretty busy, doesn't it? Well, those are just the scheduled activities. I do a lot of other stuff in between school and those three, three things. My favorite outside activities are playing with our dog, skiing or snowboarding, sledding, snowmobiling, wheeling, pictures, and lying around in the snow. The first one, playing with our dog, I do mostly because I like spending time with him and watching him dive headfirst into the snow to retrieve a snowball or tennis ball I throw. The next thing I love doing, but I don't do very often, is skiing or snowboarding. Every year, our school has two ski trips. Usually, the first one is in January, and the second one is in February. We always go on a Friday so that we have the weekend to get rested. The whole school gathers at the gym at 8 o'clock a.m., but we usually don't leave until around 8.45. When we get to the lodge at about 9.50, we eat snack, get our equipment, and head out at around 10.15. Recently, I've been boarding in the morning and up until our 3 o'clock afternoon snack then switching to skis up until the end of night skiing. The school dismisses the kids at 5 o'clock. Some parents come and take their kids night skiing, some go home, and others find someone to be their guardian. Because I'm still kind of new to boarding, I do it in the morning when some of my buddies are inexperienced boarders. Then during the night, I usually ask a friend or one of my brothers to be my guardian for night skiing. On to the next activity, sledding. This is a fun activity to do, whether or not you have a friend with you. Every time there's a big snowfall, the village plowing team wakes up at 4 a.m. to plow. When they plow our driveway, they make a huge snow plow on our side of the duplex, which I like to sled down. Sometimes, if I don't have a sled, or I can't find mine because my brother's using it in place of a creeper, I use a cardboard box and flatten it out. Surprisingly, it works pretty well. Last year, my oldest brother got a snowmobile and we have gone out on it a few times. Also, some of my friends have snowmobiles, so I've gone out a few times even before my brother got a snowmobile. It's a lot of fun, and it's a great activity to do if you want to hang out in the winter. Now, you probably already know that I like wheeling. Well, yes, you say, but isn't it more of a summer activity? Yes, it is, but it's a lot of fun taking a two-wheel drive wheeler or my brother's three-wheeler out on the ice. It can be dangerous, but I love doing spins, and ice makes them even funner. Like I said in my hobby speech, my second favorite hobby is photography. Before I got a real photography camera, I always took pictures in the snow. I love snow pictures because it reminds me of magical places like Narnia, and it brings back memories of me and my friends tumbling around in the snow together. <laughs> Lastly, if I get tired of doing whatever I was doing, I like lying in the soft bed of snow. When I get tired of doing outside things, or I don't feel like going outside, I do inside activities like puzzles, drinking hot chocolate, more pictures, projects, music, gym, and reading. Just recently, I started, started doing a 1,000 piece rustic retreat deer puzzle. And when I finish it, I'll frame it and give it to my brother as part of my belated birthday gift. You probably shouldn't tell me that though. When there's a blizzard, especially, I love drinking hot chocolate and playing games with family and friends. Personally, it makes me happy and grateful for a warm house, friends, and family. More pictures. When I take a picture of someone wrapped in a warm blanket, sitting by a window, and a snowstorm blowing outside, my desire for all the little things in life I badly want just disappear, and I realize how blessed I am to be able to experience snow, but still be warm and cozy. I love doing little DIYs in the house, especially during the holidays. I can write letters, make decorations for my room, or make gifts for different people. Like I said earlier, I have, scheduled, I have a scheduled time for gym, violin, and voice. But when I'm at home and I have nothing to do, I like to practice. Usually, I practice for, for one hour. Usually, I practice violin for one hour. Jam when I need to get some energy out. And singing, 
Well, technically I can sing anytime I want. The last thing on my list is reading. Sometimes after church, I read a book for a few hours, but mainly I read before bed. This is my lesson 40 speech for the Rome Paul Curriculum, 9th grade speaking class of